Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. You probably know that many of us have been doing videos on the beta version of Photoshop. You also probably know that Adobe has a lot of different applications. What you may not know is that they have beta versions available for most of those applications. To download the beta version of an Adobe app, you need a Creative Cloud subscription and you need that specific app to be included in your subscription. If it is, and there's a beta version available for it, you'll be able to download it and try it out. Now, if you're new to this and you're unfamiliar with this beta thing when it comes to Adobe applications and you don't know how to download beta versions of Adobe apps, I'll show you how at the end of the video. In today's video, I wanna talk about the current beta version of Adobe Bridge. There are some new features found in this version of Bridge that are worth mentioning. The first new feature is actually an old feature. This was a feature in Bridge originally, and for some reason they removed it. And I've been told that there are a lot of photographers that aren't updating their Bridge because they absolutely positively need this functionality. I'm talking about the ability to open up multiple windows. You can see I have the beta version of Bridge open. If I want to open up a secondary window, hit Command or Control N on your keyboard. You'll get a secondary window. When you do it, see it says secondary over here. Need a third window, just hit Command or Control Ed again, N again, N for new, and you'll get another window. Close them down, just hit that little X in the corner, and you'll close them down. So if you need multiple windows in your workflow, you can now do it with the beta version of Bridge. This next new feature I'm very excited about. You can now customize the keyboard shortcuts in Bridge. To do that, go up to Edit and then go down to Keyboard Shortcuts. And when you do that, you can see you have a mock-up of your keyboard. I'm using a modified North American keyboard. If it's not finding the exact keyboard you're using, you could go to this drop-down. You could see, you could choose a German, English, Spanish, and so on. So you could choose the type of keyboard there. Then you could show the keyboard shortcuts available throughout the entire app or in a specific panel, let's say in the review window. And you can see that there's keyboard shortcuts available there. So like the three key is three stars, four keys, four stars, so on. So we'll go back, we'll go to the entire app. And you can see, as I mentioned, like you want to give something a one star rating, hit the one key, two key, three key. Well, what about a modifier key? What if I hold in the shift key? Well, you can see there's just maximize frame here. What if I hold in the option key? You can see there's just reject, delete basically over there. What if I hold in the command key? Well, you can see, oh, look at command, W is close window. Command E is eject. Command R is open in camera. So I'm holding the command. Let's say I hold in the shift and command together. You can see that battery name is shift command R. So you could see the keyboard shortcuts there. Just hold in the specific modifier key and you'll see the keyboard shortcuts, in this case, for the entire app. But the cool thing is we could add our own keyboard shortcuts for functions that don't have keyboard shortcuts or we could modify existing ones. Now, let's go down here to the bottom and open up the file. Let's just, for this example, go down here to open in Camera Raw. See the keyboard shortcut is Command R. Let's say I never ever use Camera Raw, and for some reason I keep accidentally hitting Command R. I want to just get rid of it. So what you do is just click here and just click X, and you get rid of it. Click OK, and now Command R is no longer a keyboard shortcut. If I want to add a keyboard shortcut, let's say I want to add something for Open Camera Raw, I'll click there. Then on my keyboard, hit the keys that you want the keyboard shortcut to be, in this case, Command R. When I hold in the Command key, it's showing me keyboard shortcuts. So you just want to make sure that the R key is clear, and then R. So we just added that, and then hit OK, and you're done. Now let's do a real one. Let's go Reveal and Finder. Like I want to open, a, I want to find the where the image is on my computer, right? Reveal and Finder will do that. You'll see there's no keyboard shortcut for that. So click there, click there again, get this box. And I want to use uh, Shift Command, and you can see how the F key is free. So Shift Command F, and you can see that that's there. So we'll click OK. So we're on an image here. I want to find this in a, where it is on my computer. I'll hit Shift Command F, and it opened out a Finder window, and there's the image on my hard drive. So I just added a keyboard shortcut. So you can modify your keyboard shortcuts. I think that's a great new feature. Now this next new feature is kind of, I guess some people would use. If you want to zip a file, compress it, just right click on the file, and then go down to compress zip. 
Now, if this was an already zip file, like it had a .zip extension and I right clicked on it, it would be uncompress. So I'd be able to unzip. So you could zip and unzip files uh, just by right clicking on them and going down to either zip or unzip or compress or uncompress. Now, there's an Adobe app. Apparently, I'm not familiar with it. It's called the Adobe Substance 3D Stager. In the past, you never could send an image from Adobe Bridge to the Adobe Substance 3D Stager. Well, you can now do that. Just right click on the image you want to send into that Adobe Substance 3D Stager. Then go down to Place. And then you can see you can place a media coder, place it in place it in Adobe Premiere Pro, and so and so on. What I'm talking about is the 3D Stager. Apparently, in previous versions, this isn't an option. Well, it is now in this beta version. To do it, just click on it. Now, I don't have it installed on my system, so it's telling me I need to install it. I'm going to click no. I don't want to install it. All right. So that's that. Now, this other new feature, let's go to like this image. I want to see this in full screen. Now, this isn't new. You always could do this. Hit, oh, I didn't want to hit F. I hit the F key. I'm in the wrong app. F key is a different way. That's in Lightroom if you want to see in full screen. If you want to see this in full screen in Adobe Bridge, hit the space key. And then you'll see full screen. If I want to see the file name, hit the C key. That's new. So you hit the C key, you see the file name over here in the lower left-hand corner. So go back or you want to close down full frame view, just hit the space key again. So if you're on another image here, I want to see this in full screen, hit the space key. I want to see the name of the file, hit the C key. And that C key's right there. Okay, so that's that. Now, the final new thing is a little thing, but a lot of people, it kind of bugged them. When you would export an image, if you're exporting JPEGs from Bridge, it, it always used the extension dot jpeg you couldn't use dot jpg well now you could use dot jpg to do that go up to file go down to export to go to custom export scroll down a little bit right here right here if i could do it there we go image format format jpeg extension dot jpg that's new you weren't able to do that in the past it was always dot dot jpeg well now you can do dot jpg so that's that. So that's new. So that's some of the new things found in this, the current beta version of Adobe Bridge. Now I mentioned if you're not familiar with beta versions of Adobe apps, you don't know how to download them, really easy to do. Open up your Creative Cloud app. When you do, go to the Apps tab right here. Then on the left-hand side, go down to Beta Apps, and you'll see all the beta apps that are available to you. Now, again, this is dependent on your subscription. If you have just the photography package, you'll probably have the beta version of Photoshop, the beta version of Bridge, and that's probably it um, because there isn't a beta version of Lightroom. Now, if you have, like I do, you subscribe to everything, then you'll have every beta version available you could download here. So you could just click install and it will download it and install it on your system. The beta versions of apps run independently of the original version. So they're not going to overwrite the original version of the app. They're just going to run side by side so you can have them both open at the same time actually so uh, you don't have to worry about the beta version screwing anything up from the regular version because they're independent of one another so that's how you do it that's everything so far new in the current beta version of adobe bridge thank you everyone who watches my videos i really do appreciate it talk to you guys soon